Hi, and welcome to another video update on 7076, the HiMac. We've been very busy just before Christmas as we set ourselves with the task of getting the engine back into the locomotive. The BHG team all rallied together and came out to complete the lift, which turned out to be a really great day. Perfect conditions for lifting, no wind, dry, and plenty of light. So much so, we allowed a full day to do this task, but we completed it within a few hours and got the engine back in the engine room of the loco. So the next task is to bolt the engine down to the loco bed plate and connect all the ancillaries up, which include coolant, fuel, lubricating oil, electrical connections, air, and actual output from the engine to the transmission. So here you can see the bolting of the card and shaft, there are 10 bolts in total and locking tabs which secure the output of the engine to the transmission. Brand new hydraulic connections have been used which have been courtesy of Carl Holt, a big thanks to him. So the next big task for us is to lift in the two turbochargers on top of the engine. These ports here are the exhaust and there are six of them per turbo so that's 12 in total so we'll sit them down on there with coolant and oil connections. This is planned to be done in the next couple of weeks and here you see the two massive turbochargers which sit on top of the engine. Top of the turbo here with the black bellows are the inlets to the turbos and the circular item next to it are the exhaust which go out of the roof of the engine. So even though it's a hydraulic locomotive, there are still plenty of electrical connections which we are working away to reconnect up to the engine to loco. So we're going through the harness, ensuring everything's been connected correctly. Um, so when we come to press the start button, everything works nicely. On a railway locomotive, everything is color coded. And in this case, we're looking at the coolant pipe hook, which is painted French blue. As you can see here, there's quite a complex matrix of various pipe what's going off to different parts of the engine and also the ancillaries including the heat exchanger, turbochargers and cooler group. Throughout the rebuild we've used new gaskets and joints and silicon hoses and also upgraded the old British Rail Jubilee clips to high torque clips. Here is an elbow has been connected to the second water pump. The engine has two water pumps which helps ensure that the engine has adequate coolant flow around the various locations of the engine. So one of these videos wouldn't be complete without a little bit of painting. Here you can see me just detailing the sole bar on the loco, painting here the multi-working jumper which again, as I mentioned before, everything's color coded and orange indicates electrical connections. It doesn't take that long to paint these small items, but I think you'll all agree it's time well spent as it really does bring out the appearance of the loco and it look great when the loco is out in traffic, especially when we'll see photos appearing on our Facebook page. As mentioned earlier, everything's colour coded, so the red vacuum hose has been done, the white air connection and the yellow main res. The silver item here is the steam heat connection, but the loco no longer has a working steam boiler. These are the air connections on the side which provide air to the brake cylinders. I think I've missed a little bit there, so yep I have, I'll have to come back and touch that up later. So the final job of the day was to remove the six air filters. These were changed many years ago and are well overdue a change. As you can see here, they're pretty dirty and pretty blocked up. So some new filter media will be applied, giving the engine a bit better performance. These are the air intakes, which you'll see the lavures on the side. These will all be cleaned up, ready for installation of new filters. Make sure you pop over to the Berry Hydraulic Group Facebook page where regular updates are posted, photos of the locos 
and photos of the fleet during their heyday in service with BR. Make sure you join as this is where we'll be announcing updates such as starting and running the locomotive. Thank you very much for watching and please remember to like and subscribe. We are getting very close to getting the locomotive back into service so we look forward to seeing you all at the East Lanks Railway for its first run in service since 2017. Thank you very much and see you next time.